Daisy tells a secret. It was a beautiful sunny day in Ravenville, and little Daisy Raven was happily coloring in her favorite book. All the animals in the forest call her Daisy because of the overalls that she wears every day. They had bright, beautiful daisies sewn on them, and they were Daisy's favorite. It was getting close to dinner time, and Mama and Papa Raven were heading out to find food. Daisy, your Uncle Raven is coming to babysit, said Mama Raven. Excellent! <laughs> Daisy really liked her Uncle Raven. They always had fun playing together. <laughs> I would like you to finish your school homework while we're gone. Daisy groaned. But I want to go to the park. My friend Clover will be there, and I want to play games with him. No, I'm sorry, Daisy. You stay here in the nest with Uncle Raven, where you'll be safe. See you later, Daisy. Daisy, I have a new game for us to play together said Uncle Raven excitedly. You will really like it. Excellent. I love to play games. But this is a special game, Daisy. It's a tickling game. You tickle me, and then I tickle you. That sounds like fun. I love to laugh. But what makes it special? Well, when the tickling is done, we get to do something special, like go to the park and play with your friend, Clover. Daisy's eyes grew wide with delight. We can go to the park and be back before your mama and papa are home. They won't even know we went. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I can't wait to go to the park and play. <laughs> Daisy was very excited about this new game, and she giggled and laughed as Uncle Raven tickled her feathers. <laughs> but then, the tickling touches started to change. Uncle Raven stopped playing the tickling game and began to touch Daisy in a way that gave her an uh-oh feeling inside. <gasps> Daisy felt very uncomfortable. Then, Uncle Raven touched Daisy in her private area. Uncle Raven, I, I don't like this game anymore. But Daisy... Don't you want to go to the park and play with your friend, Clover? We'll just play a little more and then we can go. Daisy didn't know what to do. She really wanted to go to the park. So she shook her head yes, and Uncle Raven began to touch Daisy again. Daisy, this game will be our secret, our special secret. Nobody needs to know about this secret or this game or the touches. Not even Mama or Papa Raven. Nobody needs to know. Now let's go to the park. Daisy felt really mixed up inside. She thought about what happened at home and the game that Uncle Raven played. It didn't seem like a game. It made her feel confused, sad, and scared. As they flew into the park, Daisy saw her friend Clover playing with his big sister, Lily. Hi, Daisy. Hey, what's wrong? Asked Clover. You look unhappy. Oh, did something happen today? I can't tell you about it because it's supposed to be a secret. You can tell me, Daisy. We are best friends. I promise I won't tell anybody. Daisy looked carefully toward her Uncle Raven, who was busy smelling flowers. In a very quiet voice, she told Clover all about the game Uncle Raven played with her. Clover's big sister Lily had excellent ears and couldn't help but overhear what Daisy was saying. Daisy and Clover, there are different types of secrets. There are good secrets and bad secrets. Good secrets are like nice surprises. Kind of like if you were to make a pretty picture for your mom's birthday, but you didn't tell her about that pretty picture until you gave it to her on her birthday. 
Oh, yes! That is so much fun! That's right. And that would be a good secret, because it makes you feel happy inside. And it would make your mama feel happy inside, too. Bad secrets are different. Bad secrets are secrets that make us feel mixed up inside. Sometimes they can make us feel sad or even a little scared. Oh, like what happened to Daisy today? Yes, Clover. A bad secret would be if anybody, like a grown-up or a teenager, or even somebody your own age, even somebody you might know really well, would ever want to look at you or touch you in the private area of your body for no good reason at all. The secret that Uncle Raven is talking about is a bad secret, Daisy. Those are secrets that we need to tell a safe grown-up about. A safe grown-up can help you be safe and also to be sure that those touches don't happen again. But who could I talk to? Daisy, close your eyes and think of all the safe grown-ups you know. Um, the safe grown-ups I know are Mama and Papa Raven, Grandma and Grandpa Raven, and oh yeah, I, I can tell my teacher at school because she's a good listener too. Won't you get in trouble because you were supposed to do your homework? You shouldn't have been playing that game with your uncle at all. And now you are here at the park when they told you to stay home. Clover, I know Daisy didn't follow her mama's instructions, but the touching that happened was not Daisy's fault. It was Uncle Raven's fault. No one has the right to touch anyone in the private area of their body. What if Daisy's mama and papa don't believe her? Daisy, your mama and papa will believe you. And if they don't, you know lots of safe grown-ups that you can talk to. So if one person doesn't believe you, then you just keep telling all the safe grown-ups you know until somebody does believe you. Daisy, what happened to you was not your fault. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Uncle Raven, said Mama Raven. Thank you, Uncle Raven, for taking care of Daisy today. We really appreciate you spending time with her, said Papa Raven. See you again soon. How was your day, Daisy? Asked Papa Raven. I had a rotten day. Oh? Why is that? Did you get your homework done? Daisy looked up at her parents and took a deep breath. Mama and Papa, I'm sorry, but I didn't get my homework done. And I'm afraid to tell you what happened today. Daisy, you can tell us anything, especially if it's upsetting you, said Mama Raven. Uncle Raven played a special tickling game with me today. He told me he'd take me to the park, and, um, he... He touched me in my private area, said Daisy sadly. Mama Raven gave Daisy a hug. A nice, warm hug that made Daisy feel good and safe inside. You are a brave little bird. It must have been really hard for you to tell us about what happened here today. We believe you, Daisy. We are very proud of you for telling us, Daisy, said Papa Raven. The touching that happened to you was not your fault. It's Uncle Raven's fault, and it was very wrong of him to touch you like he did. Uncle Raven did a bad thing, and we need to stop him so that he doesn't do this to other little birds. We may need to talk to someone whose job it is to keep little birds safe. Would that be okay with you, Daisy? As long as it'll keep other little birds safe, then I'll do it. After telling Mama and Papa Raven, Daisy felt calm inside. She was glad she told Mama and Papa Raven. It felt really good to tell the secret. Daisy understood that not all secrets should be kept quiet and how important it is to talk to a safe adult when she feels sad 
or scared.